Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm coming at you with a new video, a little different than anything else I've ever done. I'm here with Founders team member, Tyler Cox, and today, we will be throwing every single Lone Star mold to show you how they all fly. Let's check them out. All right, I'll probably put this part of the video in front of the other part, because more people relate to this part, but we had to switch locations because there's a crap ton of people walking everywhere and we couldn't really throw without danger of hitting somebody, especially since I know none of these discs. And now I'll be throwing about 50% power so that the majority of disc golfers will get a feel of how the, these discs will fly for them. Got a slight tailwind, just keep that in mind. Little slippage. Was it in France? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Jack Rabbit. This really flippy harpoon. That's straight for all power levels. Probably one of our best throwing putters in all. Oh line. yeah, no, that thing is that thing is nice. Oh I forgot the lone wolf. Not the lone wolf. The lone wolf is the rolling wolf. straight. Got a Texas Ranger. Y'all can play through. Oh, okay. I'm just like nice and stable. Low walker. Nice dependable finish. Uh, steal some shit out of his bag. Got a lariat. Cabra, it's gonna be overstable for anybody. Distance drivers now, the curl. Very good flight. Alpha Nimit. Very similar to the curl. And then this Bravo Nimit should be a little bit more beefy. 
definitely is. Got the tumble stone. See, the little power of those things actually kind of fly nice. Oh, yeah, no, that is. Most people will love that thing. Yeah, a lot of lower arm speeds are going to love that tumbleweed. The Warbird. If you're a forehand player, this might be your disc of choice. Huh? A little bit of Annie on it. Warbird number two, pretty guy. Stable. Warbird number three, really floppy. Also really beefy. This is a bayonet. Anybody from like the 380 to 400 20, 30 foot power range will love these things. They will just flip up and ride. Alpha buoy. Dependable finish. And then this Bravo buoy. That is an absolute monster. Just literally tanks out of your hand. All right, super demo time. These things are flippy, but really fun. She flies nice. Let's start with the slow speeds and work our way up to the higher speeds. So first, I've got a V1 Dillo. Got a slight head left to right. Thank you, train. Alpha Penny. Pretty straight. Do it a little low. Move on it. Also pretty damn straight. Full snake. Skip on it too. A little low. Too much butter skipping this kind of crazy. But yeah, no, that thing is. That thing skips nice. Um. What is this copperhead? Yeah. Proto copperhead. Proto copperhead. Really pretty. A little flippier than I was expecting. That was a little beat up. I yeah. smacked a few trees with it, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly though, these, the jackrabbit, I feel like I'd putt with these. A lot of people are gonna putt with the jackrabbits. It or, like, or the blue bonnets. Yeah, the blue bonnets. Like a, or that really nice, you know, not too deep. Deep, beadless putter. Yep. It's got a good clean release on it. The jackrabbit's gonna be your micro bead. Yep. V1 jackrabbit. It's a little beat up, so it'll be a little flippier than it should be. <laughs> Stable boys. Yeah. Wow. All right. We're finally to the mid ranges. Harpoon, mid range putter, call it whatever you want. It's a four speed. Shallow four speed. Yeah, very shallow. Even more shallow than a zone. That one's flippy. Alpha Lone Wolf. And this headwind is going to be really flippy. I'm going to throw this on a very steep hyzer. And it rolls. And it even whistles, too. Got two BB6s, this limited run, and then this clear alpha. Got a very smooth repeat.
Texas Ranger V1. Should be pretty money. Edwin flipped it a little bit. He's got a glow midi. Glow midi. Edwin pushed it straight. Should be a little bit more stable for most people. And then finally, in the mid ranges, unless there's any more I'm missing, uh, we got a walker. Flip, but the flip is. Yeah, the flip is. Basically, cool. a, between the BB6 and the Lone Wolf. Yeah, we got a walker, glow walker. This one is B. Busy park today. Very busy park today. You can tell it was like 30 degrees last week because everybody's itching to get outside. Like I said, beefy. Oh, uh, we might have to change locations because this is getting a little hectic. Alpha Mockingbird, little piece of bow tape on it. Not sure how it'll fly. Also a little flicker than I expected. Alpha Dose X. That's pretty nice. I like that. A Lariat. Alpha Lariat. Alpha Lariat. Pretty nice dive. Feels good in the hand. Pretty shallow, thin. Mild dome. up and rides. Reminds me of a Tesla. This ridiculously overstable glow chupacabra. I'm gonna force this thing over. Shout out Tanner Gerard, Tour Series. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Beef. Mega beef. Alright, up next we got this tombstone. Just kidding, it's a tumbleweed. <laughs> it's so funny. It's still rolling. It is still rolling. We're up to distance drivers now. Starting off with the Alpha Curl. Pretty I actually dumb. haven't seen this one fly yet, so I'm very yeah, interested. All right, this is the first, first flight to this one. If it wasn't a headwind, it wouldn't have burned over like that. But. Yeah, tailwind curls are really, really good distance right now. Nimitz. Alpha Nimitz. The Alpha is a little bit more flippier than really? the Bravo and the Nimitz it, in my it does look, well, It does look pretty flippy, so. Let's put a bit of hydro on it. Oh, yeah. But then the Bravo is a completely different story. <laughs> really? All right, Bravo Nimitz. Huh? It's the one that I'm jamming on. Smack just a slight bit of hyzer onto it, and you honestly could probably murder that one. Let's not do that, because you know, yeah, we don't like we got, doing that in this golf clifford. We got another Bravo Nimitz here, and this one will try to not burn over. Yeah, there we go. That's the flight. That's the flight. That's the flight I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. Now that one is a stable Nimitz. Warbirds. Lots of Warbirds. This one, first one, Alpha. A little beat up. Stable. I like that. 
That should be Bravo. This is Bravo? It's Smith Bravo, but... Yeah. Alright, it's Bravo, I guess. Yeah, Bravo's got a little different flight pattern than the Alpha. Yeah, it's a little bit more flip to it. Yeah. Also did that one a little flatter. We got this stupid beefy glow warbird that I found. Super flat. That thing has no glide. Finally, 13 speeds. We got the bayonet, which I assume will be pretty flippy. I'm gonna rip it on a lot of hybrids. like strike like bomber lower arm speeds are gonna love that yeah I can it's see gonna that. be a nice you know glidey distance driver that's gonna have a nice dependable turn and then fade out at the end with a lot of lower arm speeds higher arm speeds good for long distance turnovers maybe even rollers we got this alpha bowie buoy I'm not sure how to pronounce it still it's a buoy the buoy Oh, it definitely is not. No, it is not. It definitely is not. Well, that thing bombs though. Wow. Pretty gummy. Bravo Bowie. Bowie. Sorry. Beefy Bowie. Super beefy Bowie. Yeah, that thing is. Super stable. Really stable. Wow. It's so stable. Oh no, my shoe's falling apart. Oh no. Oh no. My head just fell apart. Oh, 